Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Ariel and I'm the owner of Ari Bea Sticker Shop and today I'm going to be unboxing a few more Chic Sparrows that I recently purchased. I'm buying a lot of Chic Sparrows recently. I'm really getting into this whole um, like notebook TN phase recently. You can probably guess from the title what these planners are. So I'm going to go ahead and start unboxing these guys. At the moment, Chic Sparrows are currently some of my favorite planners to use. I'm obsessed with using uh, my April that I got a few months ago now. Uh, I currently have a moleskin in my wide April, which I am so happy about. Um, I finally got a cover for that, and now I got two new sizes. So while I was making my order for some new planner covers, I did order some of these clear dashboards again because I've been enjoying using them in uh, my other planners including my wide as well as my passport. So I got two other sizes as well, uh, one in A6 and one in B6 because I'm going to be using them in these planners. So um, I really like these vinyl dashboards. I think they're very easy to use. I kind of wish that um, the pockets were a little bit shorter just like that because it is a little bit difficult to get stuff inside there but it's not impossible, so um, I do like the material of these vinyl dashboards anyways, so I got two more to go into these two planners, and I'm so excited about these um, planners because I've been wanting these leathers for a long time. So uh, the first planner that I have here is in an A6 size. You guys know that I love this size, love the size, and have so many notebooks uh, and journals to fit inside here. So this is the gorgeous Emma Leather. I'm obsessed with this leather. I know it is many people's uh, favorite. This leather has been around for quite a long time and as you can see I did get it uh, with the Cascade pocket configuration. I personally love this type of pocket configuration. I think it's easy to use and um, you can fit a lot of different things inside here. Of course there are elastics. You do get four elastics in here uh, but there's also a secretarial in here so you can also slide in a notebook in the back of your planner in case um, your notebook doesn't fit on the strings or it's too heavy for example. Uh, another thing that I really like about this design specifically from Chic Sparrow is that it has a pen loop that is attached on the side here so I really like this. I think it's very handy especially because TNs generally don't always have uh, pen loop. Sometimes there are, but this is just like my favorite um, kind of style of pen loop, I guess you can say. I much prefer these over some of the like clip-ons and stuff like that, but I still use the clip-on pen loops, but I just really love this one. So I did ask for super shiny, gorgeous, smooth leather for my Emma, and that is exactly what I got, as you guys can see here. It is such a pretty color, and I love... Um, the shine that it has. I am really interested to see how this will patina over time. Of course, I'm going to be using this um, a lot. This was actually one of the first Chic Sparrows that I ever saw in this color, Emma. And ever since then, I've been wanting one. Um, I believe that this will patina to a really nice color. I'm hoping that it will turn similar to my Weeks book. Let me just show you. Uh, I did buy this chic sparrow off of a friend earlier this year and it turned into this gorgeous color. This was the color um, it was when I purchased it uh, but I believe I'm the second or even third owner of this planner so I'm hoping that these are similar leathers or it will turn into the similar color because I believe uh, when the first person that purchased this um, I think she said it was an Emma uh, but it was one it was called buttered rum so I'm hoping that these will be similar to each other. Of course, the elastic has changed uh, over previous owners, but I'm hoping that these colors will be similar. But isn't this such a gorgeous cover? I'm so obsessed with this, and I'm pretty sure I can put in... One second. I'm pretty sure that I can put in this uh, notebook that I just got. This is the Hobonichi Han. I'm pretty sure this, this will fit into the side there. Oh, it's literally a perfect fit if I just slide it in the back. Um, I think I will try putting it on the elastics a little bit la later, but isn't this such a gorgeous combination? And then if I put a few like die cuts or other things inside here, this is a cherry blossom die cut and I can put it in. <gasps> that would be so cute. 
coat. Oh my gosh. Or maybe to match the colors, I'll put in this one. Here's the coffee one. That would be so cute in here. I'm excited to set this up now. Okay. So this is just going to stay in here. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it in here for now. But that is my A6 Emma. And then I did get another planner cover. So this next planner cover I purchased in B6. And from what I remember, this is a limited edition leather. This leather is one that was available in the past and was recently brought back um, as, as a collaboration again. And I'm so happy to have this color. <gasps> it is so gorgeous. So this is a Chic Sparrow B6 Violet. Now this is such a gorgeous deep purple color. I thought it would be perfect for this time of year as I received it. It is currently um, the beginning of October and how perfect would this be for a fall slash Halloween setup. It is such a gorgeous deep purple and oh, it is so smooth and gorgeous. Look at that. So you can see a little bit of variation on the spine but today's a little bit of a cloudy day so uh, it's looking a lot darker but how pretty is this? So I believe this is a collaboration leather. This leather was released in the past and thankfully they were able to get limited quantities of uh, this color again. So they were able to release it back into the shop and I grabbed one right away. So now I have this violet and then I have um, my April which were both limited edition leathers and then um, a few other Chic Sparrow colors including this Emma that I just unboxed and then um, I do also have a chocolate creme. I still want to fill out my collection with a few other different uh, leathers, but hopefully I can uh, slowly grow my collection because this is so gorgeous. Lately I've been excited to set up new planners, so let me just grab my Stalogy. So this is my B6 Stalogy. I stopped using it a while ago, but I do want to continue using it for the new year. As you can see, I have a few things inside here already. Some other stickers that I mean to put that I meant to put away, but I'm definitely going to stick this guy into the back pocket here. I believe it'll fit. Eh, maybe not. Um, I don't have a clear cover on cover for this notebook, so I'm just gonna have to put it like this. And then I do have this monthly insert here. I reprinted it out again, or maybe I might switch it out for something else, but this is a um, TN insert from Anna Jolene Printable. She's on Etsy as well as, um, she has her own standalone shop as well. I do have a code for her if you want to use her. Okay, I think that would be cute. Oh my gosh, I'm so obsessed with this color. I think it is perfect for right now. It's Halloween season or fall season at least. I'm going to put this clip in here right away because I think it'll be cute. Then I'll just stick in my little page markers for now. And then this is just a, um, it was a divider for a B6 uh, rings planner. I'm just going to pop it in here like that so I can use it. <gasps> How gorgeous! Of course I can put more things in the pockets and such but I'm currently just setting this up for myself just as a regular notebook for notes. I'm obsessed with it. Okay so um, that is it I think for my very quick unboxing of my two new Chic Sparrow planners. I'm so happy that these finally arrived. Maybe I can find some charms to put on these guys and then my setup would be perfect. I'm so impressed with the quality of Chic Sparrow planners. As you can tell, I've been using it a lot and I'm planning on using it a lot in the new year. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you want to see more um, spreads and stuff inside of these planners, please do let me know. I'm going to see if there are other options that I can put my A6 Hobonichi Han in other than this Chic Sparrow planner, but I think this is a pretty good fit right now. I'm just going to try it out in some of my other A6 covers first, and then I'll see. I think I can wrap up this video now. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye! -bye.